Hi, dear viewers. Welcome to a new episode in which we will show you one of the most important elements of the story, which is the ship. This is where some of the most important moments of the story will take place. It is, of course, a space cruise ship stylized after those um, oceanic liners you can see nowadays, like those from Royal Caribbean, Carnival, Cunard, etc. It was originally called Starliner, uh, but the nice people like Boeing put that name to their latest space capsule, so I don't feel like giving it that name anymore. This is also a model I made a uh, long time ago when I wasn't as good at modeling and it has a lot of topology issues that I had to fix before integrating it to Blender. Also, I had to prepare the mesh to work with higher resolution in case I need to make close shots where I need to show very fine detail. So I worked intensely to fix all those creases and sharp edges so uh, when I need to increase the subdivision levels, uh, I don't soften some of the um, details. I need to keep completely sharp, regardless of resolution. So I had to work on this, you can see in red, uh, to keep all the creases completely in place. And of course, the freestyle edges which are very important when you need the freestyle system, which is the line generator from Blender, to draw a line on the marked edge. Of course, they can be cleared, so they don't get drawn at all. Since this is a ship designed to take passengers on a very long trip, several days at least, it is designed to have a system to simulate daylight. So we use this material, which is a simple emission material, with different textures for day and night mode. So you just change this emission shader with this other emission shader, which is using a different texture, and you can change between day and night mode. Now, why the bridge of the ship has to maintain this night mode? Uh, well, that's because all the spaces for the crew have to maintain the same lighting mode at every moment. So yeah, the day and night mode doesn't apply here. As for the uh, hull of the ship, we have this material, which is also a variation of the shader to RGB node, which I showed in the previous video with all those uh, tone correction notes and all that. But I also added this uh, Fresnel node to generate this rim lighting for the shadow part of the ship. That allowed me to recreate the look of the material of the original version. And I also added this ambient occlusion node, which is very simple to use with Blender. To enhance the um, elements when you see the ship from the shadow side. The uh, thrusters also use an emission material which also takes advantage of the bloom effect for generating this um, incandescence of the thrusters. This same kind of shader is used for the lights, for example this green, red and white. And of course it can be used to make a sun, for example. With all this is practically set so we can make some render tests and with some other minor adjustments it could be ready to generate the final footage. So this is what I have to show you for today. Soon I'll be showing you some other interesting things we're working on. Here I leave you with a rendering test and I'll see you in the next episode. Adiós amigos.